Hello everyone, I'm Raphael and welcome to my channel, Network Engineer Pro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to ping a lot of IPs quickly on a Cisco router. This is gonna save you precious time during a CCIE lab and make you a much more efficient network engineer. The way we do this is by TCL scripting. TCL scripts, aka tickle scripts, stand for the tool command language, and it's a full scripting language. Now, I'm not a TCL scripting expert, but one thing that you can use it for is to ping a lot of IPs quickly from the CLI of a router. Okay, but to ping an IP takes, what, five seconds? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? The big deal is that when you have 30, 40, 50, or more IPs that you need to verify reachability to, that takes a lot of time. Time we don't have, we need to be more efficient. Let me show you how it works. All right, so I have two routers here. They're directly connected. They're OSPF neighbors, and I have a few loopback interfaces configured on both of these routers, and I'm advertising these loopback interfaces into OSPF so that I can simulate a bunch of different networks. So step one here is gonna be gather the IP addresses in the network that you wanna test reachability to. From router one, I'm gonna type show IP interface brief, pipe exclude unassigned. Only show me interfaces that have IP addresses assigned. I can also type show IP alias, and this will give me the same information. Now, if I wanna highlight and copy all these IP addresses, if I were just use my mouse and highlight the IPs, you can see here that I'm also including the word interface and I don't want that. So I'm gonna press and hold the Alt key on my keyboard, and I'm gonna highlight just the column of IP addresses that I care about. I'm gonna go up here to edit and hit copy, or I could type Control Insert, and I'm gonna paste this information into Notepad++. I'm gonna do the same thing on router two. Show IP interface brief, pipe exclude unassigned, or I could type show IP aliases. Holding the alt key on my keyboard, I'm gonna highlight just the column of IP addresses that I care about. I'm gonna press copy or control insert and paste this information into Notepad++. Now it's time to prep the script. The first thing I wanna do here is I wanna type TCLSH. This is gonna enter the TCL shell of the router. The next thing I wanna do is type for each address, and the word address here is gonna be a variable containing all of these IP addresses. I'm gonna put a curly bracket here, and I'm going to close it at the end of the IP address list. I'm gonna type space, do a new bracket, and I'm gonna type the word ping, dollar sign, address, and this is referencing the variable up here which again contains all of the IP addresses here. I'm gonna press enter and close the bracket. I'm gonna copy this script here and paste it into both of the routers. So I'm gonna go on router one first and I'm going to right click. You can see here as soon as I entered TCLSH, it entered the TCL mode, the TCL shell of the router. Now as soon as I hit enter, the router's gonna ping all of these IP addresses. Look at that, it did that in less than two seconds. And what's great here is they're all success. So some of these are loopbacks on router one and some of them are loopbacks on router two. To exit the TCL mode, you type TCL quit and you go back to your privileged prompt here. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on router two. All right, so I pasted everything here. You can see again, as soon as I type TCLSH, I'm in the TCL shell, which we can tell by the TCL here next to the host name. I'm gonna press enter. Boom, I just pinged all of these IP addresses very quickly. To exit TCL mode, I'm gonna type TCL quit. Let's go back to Notepad++ really quick because I wanna show you something. If I wanted to specify a source interface for my pings, like maybe a loopback, I can do that. I can say source loopback zero. Now I'm gonna copy this and paste it again into the router. All right, so we can see here, I'm in the TCL mode. It's gonna ping the variable uh, dollar sign address using a source interface of loopback zero. Awesome, I just pinged all of these IP addresses with a source address of this, which is loopback zero on router one. And we can see they were all successful. Let me exit the mode by typing TCL quit. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on router two. Perfect. I just pinged all of those IP addresses using the source address of this, which is router2's loopback zero. 
Another thing you could do, let me exit here really quick and go to Notepad++. Instead of sending five ICMP echoes, I could make it even faster by just sending two. I do this by saying ping dollar sign address source loopback zero repeat two. I'm gonna copy this information here and I'm gonna paste it into both of the routers. That was even faster. And you can see here that I sent two ICMP echoes to all of the IP addresses inside of my script. TCL quit to get out, and I'm gonna do the same thing on router two. Awesome, we just pinged a bunch of IP addresses from a router in less than two seconds. Type TCL quit to exit the TCL shell or the TCL mode. Now, when messing with the repeat count, I don't recommend going less than two because depending on whether or not an ARP entry is there, you might lose that first ping to ARP and you might think that there's something wrong when it was just the ARP process taking place. Now, this was a very simplified topology with two routers and only a handful of interfaces uh, on each router. If this was a CCIE lab and you had, you know, 20, 30, 40 routers and interfaces all over the place, you want to gather this information router by router, prep your script and paste it into all the devices that you want to test reachability to. And you can see how this saves you so much time. Instead of typing ping and then each IP address and then hit up arrow, change the IP, hit enter, hit up arrow, change the IP, hit enter, we can do all this really quickly. And that's all there is to it. If you practice this a few times yourself, this script and the syntax, you're gonna get it no problem. It's gonna be muscle memory. All right, so that's all there is to it. TCL scripts for pinging a lot of IPs is really not that difficult. If you do it a few times on Notepad, you're gonna have it memorized and ready to go. I can't recommend this enough. It saved me precious time during my CCI lab, and I know it's gonna do the same for you if that's what you're going for. Another use case for this is that let's say you have a large upgrade in your network scheduled, and you wanna have a baseline of what's pinging before the upgrade, then when your upgrade's complete, run it again to see if anything changed. So prep the script, gather IPs, and go. That's gonna be it for now. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Social media links are down in the description. That's gonna be it for now. Thanks everyone, have a great day and lab on.